Hey, what's up guys? Bibo here from Gatech. So last August, Xiaomi flew us to Malaysia for their launch of the Xiaomi 12 Lite. In case you missed our review video on that, I will link it down below. Now, during our trip, I got a chance to visit the Pavilion Mall near Kuala Lumpur. It's one of their premium malls similar with Glorieta here in the Philippines. Uh, while going around, I saw an Oppo flagship store and to my surprise, they just released a new Oppo Reno device that week. And that was the first time I saw this phone, the Oppo Reno 8 5G. Now, if you're curious, in Malaysia, when you buy this device, it will include this free gift package. A single access tripod head and a 3-in-1 power bank with a fan. Now, here in the Philippines, if you buy online, it will include a Q11 smartwatch with a launch price of 27999 But here's the catch. In Malaysia, it will cost you around 2,399 ringgit. That is roughly around 30,000 pesos. So technically, it's more expensive there, but you get those additional freebies. Still not bad, right? I knew this device is also coming to the Philippines after a week it was launched in other Asian countries. But uh, it was just a great experience seeing other countries do their pre-order sales and what do they usually add in their packages. Anyway, again, the Oppo Reno 8 5G is now available in the Philippines for only 27999 with a free gift from Oppo. And alongside is the Oppo Reno 8 Z 5G, a uh, more affordable version of the 8 series. Because there's also the Reno 8 Pro and Pro Plus, but not sure when it will be available locally. So taking a closer look at the device, it has two colorways, the shimmer black and the unit we got is the shimmer gold. The first thing I noticed in this device is that it has a sharper edges than the Reno 8 Pro series. I'll show you in the screen the difference of the two. But it's very lightweight thanks to its thin form factor having just 7.67mm thickness and weighs only about 79 grams. The overall feel is still premium but of course the Pro series is more stunning in terms of build. This device has a uh, unibody streamlined design. It has this metallic frame with flat sides and curved corners. It has a very minimalist design. Uh, the power button is on the right side with that green line accent while on the right side we got the volume rocker. Buttons are very tactile firm and quiet yet very satisfying to press. On top we only got a mic pinhole and at the bottom we have the dual nano sim tray. Uh, another pinhole mic, USB type C and the speaker grills. Uh, in front you'll notice a curved edge display with a 6.4 inch AMOLED panel and has a 90 hz refresh rate. Uh, great viewing angles and you can see the punch hole camera in the left corner which sports a 32 megapixel Sony IMX709 camera module. You'll also notice that the bottom chin is quite thicker than the top and side bezels. Now, where the beauty is at the back, uh, the Reno 8 5G has three camera modules. One is a 50 megapixel f1.8 main with Sony IMX766 sensor. Uh, the second one is the 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide lens. And the third is the 2 megapixel f2.4 macro lens. The two lenses are protruding with that chrome cover. It also has this nice circular metallic accent in the middle of the quad LED flash, which is a nice touch. But like the camera module in the Oppo Find X5 Pro, they made the edge uh, slope with the rest of the back panel, which is a nice touch again uh, to separate the camera modules. Overall, I love this minimalist design plus this uh, texture is less smudge prone. Although the gold color is not for me, it has this frosted gradient glittery texture that when you shift on different direction, you'll notice a pastel pink rainbow-ish color, which is fine but I'm leaning towards the shimmer black colorway. Now, powering this device is a MediaTek 1300 octa-core chipset with 8GB of RAM and with a RAM expansion up to 5GB, so a total of 13GB. Plenty of room for files since this has 256GB storage, running on Android 12 with Color OS 12.1.1. Uh, great news, it still has an 80W Superbook charger in the box and a free jelly case. Just for context, the 80W charger can juice up 50% of the 4500mAh battery for just 11 minutes. Imagine that. Well, that's one reason to love the Oppo device because of this tech. 
The main highlight of this phone is their dual Sony flagship sensors, which focuses on the night or low light photography and video. We'll definitely have an in depth camera test in our full review, so stay tuned on that. But while waiting, here are some of the initial sample shots. In terms of software, sadly it comes with a bunch of bloatwares but we'll dive more on that soon. And we'll also include the different sets of features cause there are a ton. Like there is a dedicated special feature section, a lot of toggle notification quick access, and a bunch of tweaking for the UI. So uh, what do you think about the Oppo Reno 8 5G? Let us know in the comment section down below your thoughts. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media account like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. By the way, we've been very active lately on TikTok, so make sure to visit us there. And make it a habit to visit yugatech.com for more daily tech news and reviews. So once again, this is B-Boy of Yugatech, and see you on our next video.